Welcome back to a brand new episode of Inside BMW Group Classic with me, Christoph, and me, Benny. Today, as promised, we will um, show you one of our favorite motorcycles at the um, little motorcycle exhibition uh, that we have here on our premises, BMW Group Classic. Actually, the factory hall we are in used to be the first place where BMW produced aeroplane engines more than a hundred years ago. And now we're back and the setup is, of course, very different. Benny, this is the motorcycle that we announced last time when we spoke about the Mini. Exactly. Since I don't know too much about motorcycles and don't even have a license, I would leave it up to you to explain the details, but let's first go and have a look. Yeah. We chose this bike uh, because of the color. No, in fact, because of the sponsor. Yeah, but there's Penthouse as well, so I'm not quite sure. No, but uh, to give you a short overview, this is the 84 winning the car machine and this is the 85 winning the car machine. You say you don't know anything, but I guess you know some legends about this bike as well. One story I've heard, there was something about an additive. Are those the bottles for it? No, the additives they used that came in cans. BMW was active in the Formula One circus and the BMW engines in Formula One used special additives and they gave this one to the Motorrad team. So they put it in their bikes to get a higher output on the bikes, which was a big advantage. How about the rider? Yes, Gaston Rayer was the rider and in fact he was a little smaller than us. If you just lower yourself a little because I, I remember a picture, no, just a little lower, just a little lower. Really? Yeah, I guess this was the size of Gaston Rayer. He was hardly bigger than the bike. Can I come back up? Yeah, yeah, please okay, relax. Thanks. He managed to step on the bike on his very own way. So he started the bike, put in first gear, let the clutch go, and then he jumped on the bike, not before. But once he was on the bike, nobody could stop him. Like in many rallies, also in Dakar, you're not allowed to change your vehicle during the race. That's the last thing I know about this bike. There was a bad crash in the very beginning, yeah. and then during the entire time of the Dakar, which is several days, it had to be repaired overnight again and again and again and again. And Benny, you showed me earlier in order not to make me look stupid. This is not welded from the factory. This is welded during the race several yeah. times in the desert. And this was the only bike that could be recognized everywhere just from its tracks in the sand because it left two tracks. Not one track as a bike normally does, <laughs> but it left two tracks. Hey Benny, one last question. How about this legendary MTID? The MTID, this is our manual tire inflation device, or others would simply call it a bicycle pump. Imagine you would have to use one of these to repump your tire in the desert at 40 degrees on your own. Benny, I guess we can be happy to have an office job. I'm fine with that. This was another episode of Inside BMW Group Classic. Now we do have some Dakar footage for you, so stay tuned and um, Tune in for the next episode. Thank you. Bye.